In this tutorial, we'll walk you through the process of setting up an OAuth or client server using Spring Boot. If you haven't already, we recommend checking out our previous videos on OAuth to authorization server and resource server as they provide a foundation for this tutorial. To get started, you'll need to add the necessary dependencies to your built Gradle file. These include Spring Boot Starter Security, which provides the security framework for your application. Spring Boot Starter Webflux, which provides the web framework and Spring Boot Starter OAuth Client, which provides the OAuth Client functionality. Once you've added the dependencies, you'll need to update your application properties file to include the required OAuth information, such as the client ID, client secret, authorization grant type, and scope. These properties will be used by Spring Security to authenticate and authorize requests to the OAuth server. To configure the security framework for your application, you'll need to create a class called Security Config and annotate it with a configuration. In this class, you'll create a security web filter chain bean and set permit all exchange, which means that any user can access any endpoint in the application without authentication. Next, you'll need to create a class called web client config and annotate it with a configuration. In this class, you'll configure the web client that will be used to consume resources from the OAuth server. You'll implement an auth filter, which is an exchange filter function bean that adds the OAuth access token to each request. Additionally, you'll create two more exchange filter functions to log the request header and response body and status. Once you've configured the web client, you'll need to create a class called product controller and annotate it with a rest controller. In this class, you'll create an endpoint that will use the web client to consume resources from the OAuth wall server. You'll expose an endpoint called slash product. And inside the method, you'll use web client to consume the OAuth wall resource server endpoint. Finally, you can test the endpoint by using Postman and you can check the request response in the application log to make sure everything is working as expected. With these steps, you can build secure, scalable, and reliable applications that authenticate users using the OAuth protocol. Thanks for watching.